I am long on Bitcoin, expecting higher prices to come next. In this very video, I'll be explaining to you the reasons why I'm long, why I expect and predicting higher prices will be coming to reach higher targets that I have, and the reasons behind. I'm going to keep this one short, simple, sweet, and very professional for you, just simply giving you the information that you need to know. If you are blind to this information, there's a very high probability that you will be losing trades. I can show you the light, I can show you the path, and I will show you the next trade setups that will be coming to us in this video. As you can see, we've got a bit of a different layout. Let me know in the comments down below if you like it. I'm feeling positive, and let's get into with what you're here for, right? And that is the analysis and the trade. So I'll pick up right where I left off my last video for you on Friday. And that was a very nice prediction, right? Because I was explaining in this section right here why I was looking for lower prices to come. I read the order flow and I was recognizing the long squeeze continuation to the downside. If you didn't watch that video, go back and watch it because I was explaining the order flow on Bitcoin and why at this point we were looking for lower prices to come. Of course, lower prices did come and they come down to our harmonic target zone. We had this harmonic now for over a week being aware of it. And really simply, while we were below the value area low on Bitcoin, we did expect lower continuation and that harmonic was the big target that we had. You are unaware this is you know more of a butterfly harmonic but we could still have the potential of degartley within this but really simply we recognize the weakness and recognize that that is the big trade setup that we are waiting for on the medium term time frame it took about a week and it had an extra level of confluence and that was with the one-to-one -one abc elliott wave correction so i actually combined elliott waves with the harmonic to give me this trade target and in the end trade entry. I want to play you this five second clip just so you can understand the thought process of this corrective pattern, bringing us down to around 52,500. So that would be our more impulse ABC, impulse back down to 52,000. Okay, I hope that all makes sense. But this does not look like a finished correction in my opinion. So do you think we can get another move to the upside here? So basically what I was looking at there was a ABC correction, what I am predicting, down to around 52,500. And if you can see here, I was expecting another move back to the upside because I felt that this was not a finished impulse, ABC impulse, to give us an overall zigzag correction. Okay, so we within this zigzag, we're looking for the B wave to give us the flat before the continuation of to the downside off of the abc fibonacci correction i will just show you how this played out because you know to be fair this was a very nice prediction so we made our first impulse that put in our low we then came back up for our high to give us our first a then we came down to in the end to form the b then we came back up as looking for for the c so from that correction prediction impulse abc downwards we done that spot on impulse abc move to the downside as I was telling, well, if you watch that Champions live stream, I was saying why well, you need to take then the one-to-one -one Fibonacci extension. So we extend from our impulse down to the, from the top to the bottom of A, move that then to the end of that B wave. So A, B, C, that gives us then the A to the B. We put that on for the one-to-one. -one. As you can see, this one-to-one -one from our A, B, C correction coming in right at 52,600 in the end. Okay, so obviously this is dependent on where the height of that final wave of the ABC comes in, of that flat. It came in at around 59,600, and that gave us the one-to-one -one 52,600. So that just required a little bit of patience from the original prediction of the harmonic to understanding we have the zone from the daily to the naked point of control. You're then realizing where the one-to-one -one correction will be. And then it required a little bit of patience to come down and hit that target of the one-to-one -one on the naked point of control. I will expand upon this ever so slightly because I do want to move on to what I'm looking at next. But I can share with you some great insights as we were moving down here of the order flow. Because we did have two daily levels prior to this daily naked point of control. And 
As we were coming down, I will gave a real time update to my team of why I was not going to long early at those daily levels. And really simply, it came down to me of patience and reading the order flow. So we were seeing weakness on the stock market, which naturally helps my bias for downside on Bitcoin and Bitcoin itself just seen millions upon millions upon millions of longs open. We were seeing it each time, right? Just 14 million, 18 million, 9 million, 27 million, you know, as we were going through in my last YouTube update. This is why I was expecting lower prices and so even though we were coming in and tapping the daily where i was looking for a long trade what happened is we tapped the daily and once again we just saw an unreal amount of longs open here as you can see 1 million biggest one here 15 million new longs 3.3 million new longs so we're coming into the daily and i'm just saying to myself I don't like the order flow here. I do expect lower prices. So I'm going to hold off based off the order flow and believe we can take out this low and take out those longs just to make a new local low. I'm not expecting anything crazy. I'm just expecting lower than 53,500 at the time because this is where we saw, you know, nearly nearly 20 million of new longs opening just around over, right? So reading the order flow, understanding, I'm going to be remaining a little bit patient. I knew not to long those dailies. And I did in the end confirm to my team that I have longed the naked point of control. So this was back on Friday night. I told my team, the champion members, <laughs> I refer to as my team, by the way. So I told the champion members uh, that the harmonic target that I have had, okay, that naked point of control has been hit on the one-to-one -one target has been hit. And Bitcoin was very oversold on the night. So we were seeing, seeing large sell-offs, okay? So large sell-off on the day. And I felt as we were coming into the target and then as we hit that naked point of control target, for me, that is where I'm going to be opening my long. So this was the reactionary candle that we saw on the time. You can see around 10.30, we get this wick to the downside. Then that, of course, now, you know, we're wicking onto the one-to-one. -one. We're coming into that naked point of control. That was for me the level that I was patiently waiting for. As you can see, I confirmed to my team half 10 at night exactly when I'm taking the long trade. There's no hindsight. This is just me explaining to the members why I'm taking that long trade. Oversold into the harmonic. We've planned for that trade. I'm going to trade the plan. I took the long and I simply left it for the weekend. I knew where my invalidation stop loss was and I knew I'd like to see a rise, you know, to above. You know, I'd really like to see at least $60,000 here, right? But really $59,000 for me is key next. So I just want to really make sure you can understand the theory there because I this is just so crucial. I, I'm making these videos to help you. I understand there's a bit of complexity here, but I just know the information that I'm sharing is super helpful. And if you can listen but integrate this into your trading i know that it will improve your win rate i know that you're going to start to go and get that change into a consistently profitable trader this patience and order flow reading is just it is extremely helpful and the members that have integrated this are making good profits consistently and i want to help you and i just really hope that you can understand this because i know it can help and so that understanding of originally recognizing why we'd go lower on Bitcoin, the loss of the value area low. Understanding the harmonic is the best midterm time frame setup. Okay, that come between the daily and that value, um, sorry, the between the daily and that naked point of control that we had. Then as time progresses, we start to recognize the Elliott wave counts. Within that Elliott wave count, even recognizing here, this price action is not finished. We need to wait for another impulse to the upside before the correction. And as we all saw, we did get that final impulse to the upside before the continuation of the correction. So the understanding of the Elliott waves, the Fibonacci, the naked point of controls, and most importantly, the order flow is what came together to recognize not too long early at the dailies, but wait for that naked control, but naked point of control to be hit. And that is where I finally took the long trade. Full transparency and honesty to the champion members. I left it the weekend. I planned the trade. I traded the plan. Saturday morning, waking up with a, you know, I couldn't have asked for a better reaction. Really simply telling them I'm going to leave that long for the rest of the weekend. We come back on, this would have been what, 
Sunday night, telling them I'm still waiting for above $55,000. Nothing for me to do here. Still not here to take profit one at the time. I'm simply waiting for higher. And well, now we obviously know that we've got higher <laughs> and we had a very nice trade entry in the end. And so really simply then, what am I looking for next? That gave us this move up to what we've currently tapped as a daily at around 58, 57,600, right? So I am looking for continuation to the upside. That's the most important factor. In terms of the harmonic, that also would lead me to believe we're going to get continuation to the upside. So I've got a few different factors, and I'm, and I'm not saying we cannot retrace first. There is something you need to be aware of. That is the CME gap that has formed. So as you all know, these gaps are something to be aware of. And we do have a gap there at 54,500. So please be aware of the CME gap. Even if we come down to fill that CME gap, that for me is not weakness necessarily. Again, there are a lot of factors that come into judging is a, is a move down strong or weak, and that is primarily based over the context and the order flow. So I would have to monitor the order flow here. But my initial thoughts are, this is going to be a long trade opportunity. Should we come down there first? Context changes if we rise to target and then drop down there. So... My, th my thought process is I am happy to long a dip here locally on Bitcoin. You know, I'd happily see a dip here compound into my long trade that's already open. If not, well, hey, we get continuation. My long runs for more profits. Really looking towards $59,000. Of course, we know the top boundary is at 61600 Between 59122 I'm giving you this level because it's very key. It's the bigger range value area. Low it is the daily itself towards 60000 psychological. This is a very massive, important zone. And have a guess what I'll be doing when we hit that zone, monitoring the order flow. Do we come into that level and see strength? Well, then I'll look for continuation towards 64K, right? I'm not going to fight a trend if we're seeing strength within it. But if we come into this level, and we see weakness. We start to see trapped shorts into high, lower term time frame market structure changes off the back of that. Well, I'm going to say that is weakness. That is a reaction that I wanted. And I will take the short trade based off of that price action. It's a very reactionary way of trading, but I'm telling you, it is the best way to trade. You've seen my win rates. You've seen the challenges that I've done. And, you know, time and time again, it just is a... Proof of work, just to show you that what we're teaching here, what way I'm trading is the way to trade if you want to be beating the market. It's as simple as that. And I mean it. I really do mean it. Yeah, I hope that you uh, understood this analysis. Again, I have been giving updates on Twitter, you know, giving a little heads up, a little bit of uh, information over there. So, you know, if you want to see... Uh, more updates and not wait around on YouTube all the time. Then there are some updates given on Twitter. Um, and of course, the main the main place that you want to be is within the membership. Why? Because if you want Elliott Waves, harmonics, knowing when to enter trade, the world's best predictions, uh, you know, this is where you're getting all the information first in the champions membership level. And I mean it, you will learn here. You will be integrated into a community that is absolutely here to help. And, you know, we do not need to be here at the end of the day. It is a community. It is a place to come. And if you want to excel, and I mean that, if you want to excel, I just feel that Chart Champions is my life. It's like my passion. And I'm just here to, well, I'm, I'm here to, to, to do my best and try and educate you in the realm of trading. And if you want that every single day of the week, well, the only place you're going to get it is at Chart Champions. So you can sign up if you would like that at chartchampions.com. That's where you get access to the predictions, the live trading streams, another live trading stream starting in, well, 30 minutes for New York Open. So we got live trading. We got the trading updates, letting you know when we're taking trades, the reasons why, what we're looking at in terms of the tech take profits, everything that you need to know about the trade. Uh, and then, of course, on top of that, we got the full educational library. So you don't need to wait around on our updates because you can educate and learn them yourself. Basically, that's what we got here. I'm very proud of what we got. If you can't already tell, I, I, I feel it's a... Uh, the, the world's best product and i mean that so uh hope you've enjoyed if you have leave a like down below let me know as well in a comment what you think of this new layout do you like it do you hate it got a few different ways but i'm pretty i'm pretty happy and that was because it previously yeah the webcam was hiding a lot of the screen so screen so this was our our best um change based off of that feedback but nevertheless hope you've really enjoyed this one i wish you the most perfect day ahead of trading let's see how new york open goes and if you want to follow along then we do have that live trading in 30 minutes to start
Cheers, everybody. Thank you ever so much. That's me signing out. See you over in the Discord. Goodbye.